Good morning. Don't I look so stunning, gorgeous, beautiful? I have my period and I just feel gross and I don't want to feel gross. So I just thought today we'd spend the day pampering ourselves. So this is going to be like my self-care hangout spend the day with you. We'll do things that make me happy. I will check things off my happiness to-do list. And I hope that this inspires you to maybe take care of yourself a bit more today, to do the things that you enjoy, the things that you love. You guys know all the things that I say. I look crazy. I haven't even brushed my hair. The only thing I did was make a cup of coffee. The hormone balancing has derailed. Mike was right because when I told him I was gonna eat something and drink water in the morning, he was like, um, what, what time are you gonna get to work? Like 11 o'clock? Yeah, I just, during the week, I need to make it work. I will make it work, but this week, being that my friend is here, my menstrual pal, I'll start next week, a fresh week. But the first thing that makes me happy is a slow cup of coffee in the morning, if you know you know. I'm in a hair oil. I'm in a new face. This might be repetitive. Spoke to you guys about like my conflicting feelings about shopping and like overconsumption. Even though I love shopping and I do really try my best to use all the things that I spend my money on. I was reading up about overconsumption. Is it in the business of fashion? I don't know. It was interesting, but I was also you know, coming across other articles and people were saying that self-care is such a booming industry financially and you don't need to spend all of your money to feel like you're taking care of yourself. And I do think that that's true. But then I was reading other articles that like self-care is a scam. Let me start, you know, doing this. Otherwise we'll be here for 25 minutes. Just me talking three minutes of bamboo brushing my scalp. So I'm just gonna hit start. I do think that self-care is important. Like there were articles saying that self-care is a scam. You don't need to spend the time beautifying yourself and giving yourself facials and hair oiling and using the new face. Like you don't have to do that. If that's not something that brings you joy, then like don't waste your time. What I enjoy is different from what other people enjoy. So I just thought like the article saying self-care is a waste of time and it doesn't bring you joy. It was just, that was not factual in my opinion. I feel good when I take the time to take care of myself. Even if I'm just getting out of the shower and putting moisturizer all over my body, like just taking those five minutes. I also feel like we're so so kind of like disconnected from our bodies. Like I think as a society, we're really obsessed with working out and looking good, doing our makeup, doing our hair. We're obsessed with the aesthetic of it all. But if you just like take the time to take a deep breath, to take a sip of your coffee and just sit here and like feel the brush going through your scalp. Like, I don't know, it is kind of like, it's kind of like meditative for me. It just makes me feel really present. Don't get me wrong, I am hair oiling so that my hairline stays fuller, so that my hair looks shinier. In the moment, it's just, I'm just a woman sitting here in front of a mirror. I mean, I'm talking to you guys too, but like taking care of myself and being grateful for what I have by taking the time to take care of it. I don't know. I do think that a lot of life is about perspective and I do think that we're all very different. I just think self-care is so much more than what the beauty industry has made it in terms of like marketing and making dollars, you know? Like it's not just about being vain and like putting a face, like, I don't know. Also, you don't need to spend a lot of money to take care of yourself. Castor oil has been doing the most for my skin and castor oil is not expensive. I bought like a big jug of it on Amazon like a really long time ago for like $8. Taking those moments be present with yourself and look at yourself in the mirror. I just feel like life flies by so quickly, so quickly. And one day you're 21 and the next day you're 33. Like that's kind of how I feel. Like, I don't know. Like it's just, Mike and I used to go to this wine bar when we first started dating in New York City. I'm taking rosemary oil and I'm gonna mix it with jojoba oil, equal parts. Four drops of that, four drops of this. I want to cut rosemary oil because it can be like a very harsh oil and it can burn your scalp. I'm just going to run that through my scalp. But when Mike and I first started dating, we used to go to this wine bar in New York City called Adela. Oh my God, it was like our favorite place. The, the staff was amazing. They'd always give us like free wine. It was just such a good time. It was like a really intimate, quiet setting. I used to take like my girlfriends there too. When Alexa lived in the city, we'd go all the time. It was just a vibe. And yesterday I went to dinner. No, I went to, well, kind of, we had a cheese plate. I went to drinks with my girlfriend, Bailey. I was looking at places to go and I saw that they opened a new wine bar where Adela used to be. I forgot what the point of my story was. Damn. 
Oh, just like time flying, sorry. So they opened a new wine bar and I'm so excited. Like I really, I told Mike like we have to go next week. Like I wanna take Mike on a date, but it's just so crazy to think of like that time. Like, I mean, Mike and I started dating like 10 years ago. It kind of feels like yesterday, but it kind of feels like a lifetime. So anyway, the moral of my story, time flies. And I think any moment or anything you can do to keep you in the present, sitting here, looking at yourself, appreciating who you are, taking a deep breath, a moment of just like gratitude. Wow, like, I don't know, I'm really cheesy. I'm very woo woo. I feel like it's good for me and I feel like a lot of my life I have suppressed this part of me where I kind of like to put on a hard exterior but I'm very soft on the inside. I like to sit here and like be really grateful for how far I've come. Like, yeah, do I have goals in life? Yes, but I'm tired of like pushing myself to hustle. Someone once told me to never be content. In the moment, it kind of rubbed me the wrong but then I was like, you know what? Yeah, like I go to the I go to the city. I'm I commute to New York. That's my lifestyle. That's who I want to be. I'm really ambitious. But I'm coming to my senses, I think, and life is too short to not be content. I can still be ambitious without driving myself to burnout and driving myself to crazy anxiety. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm doing exactly what I've been doing. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm gonna take this rubber, it's a rubber, what's it called, comb. I'm gonna do five minutes now. And I'm gonna massage the jojoba oil and the rosemary oil into my scalp. I'm doing the things that I enjoy doing and nothing more is coming of it. I just feel more fulfilled. And so it feels like I'm getting more out of it. Does that make sense? We're not promised tomorrow and I'm tired of shaming myself for not hustling, for not being like a business owner, for not going and following my dreams out of college. Like I'm tired of shaming myself for deciding to pursue a career in finance when that isn't what I wanted to do. But guess what? I needed money. I had student loans. I don't come from a family with money. I just feel like there were reasons and logical reasons as to why I made every decision in my life and it got me here. So I like to sit in the mirror. I like to look at my 33 year old self because I'm not gonna be 33 forever. And I just wanna be content because God knows like the state of the world isn't great. We're not taking care of our planet. Planet is on fire. Who knows what could happen tomorrow and I don't wanna die shaming myself every single day that like I wasn't the person that I always dreamt that I would be. I wanna be happy with my life. I wanna be grateful for my cat, my husband, my family, the things that I have. Ugh, it's like really uncomfortable. Like I said, I went to drinks with my girlfriend Bailey last night and we were having like this really in-depth conversation. Like her and I always have really deep conversations and I love that. Like that is is what I really love in a friend. Like I just, I'm not good at the surface. I've just, I'm not. Like I don't have that much to talk about on the surface. We just like both feel so uncomfortable and she was saying, and I totally agree with her, there's a shift in us where we're kind of like shedding the women that we once were or always thought that we should be and realizing what our real priorities are and what our priorities are no longer. Morphing into a new woman and I'm excited about it and I wanna be content. I just wanna scratch my head in front of a mirror and tell myself how proud I am of myself. Just be grateful for the moment. And I just feel like that's good for my soul and I feel like that's who I am deep down. I am a dreamer and it's funny because my you know, my aunt has always said it, like people in my family have always said, like, I'm a dreamer. I've always had my heads in the, my head in the clouds, but I don't need to be like a hustler. When I say that, I feel like huh. when you are living in your truth, it all feels good. When you're living with something that doesn't align with you or thinking about something that doesn't align with you, like you feel it in your body. At least I do. Like I feel very uncomfortable. I get like a heavy pain in my chest and my breathing becomes short. Just thoughts on my mind. Just massaging my scalp and rubbing the oils in because this will help my circulation in my scalp so it will help to grow my hair it helps to fill in your hairline I don't know okay this is just what I'm told but I have been doing this for like almost two years now and I have noticed such a big difference in my hair um, it grows really fast granted my hair has always grown really fast but it grows more healthy and fast and my hairline is just so much better like I can't tell you when I used to use Photoshop years ago at this point I can't tell you the last time I used Photoshop I used to fill in my hairline all the time because if the light would hit it a certain way I would look like I was like balding I felt insecure about it but now I don't use Photoshop but even if I did like I wouldn't have 
have to do that because of my hair oiling routine. I'm gonna take this busted up argan oil on the ends. I just took like four or five drops and I'm just gonna like run it through my hair. I don't know what it is, you guys just get me. I am a very quiet person in real life. <laughs> and then I'm so chatty with you guys, but I just, I've been really enjoying having like these deeper conversations and I really enjoyed my drinks with my girlfriend last night. Having difficult conversations with people and also like reading about these topics has been helping me express how I'm feeling more and I am kind of like doing my due diligence and my homework to talk to you guys because I want to be able to get a message across and not edit this back and feel like I'm kind of just like stumbling upon my words. When I go back and I edit videos, I I know what I'm saying, but I say it in so many words and I'm kind of just like worried that I didn't get my message across. I've never enjoyed conflict, but like Mike would always say like, I'm a problem because I can be a problem. Like I have a mouth. Sometimes I like bite back and I just like haven't been that person. I think since like before COVID, like I think COVID really changed me in that sense. Now I've kind of like reverted in the opposite direction where I don't say anything in fear of upsetting people or like rubbing people the wrong way. I wanna be me and I don't wanna be like a quiet little mouse in the corner anymore. So this is me stepping in to the light and like saying what I wanna say. Did that, any of that make sense? I don't know, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for always being here. I would love to continue any discussion down below in the comments because I love talking to you guys. Like honestly, the comments make me so happy. Victoria McGrath uploaded a new YouTube video. So I'm gonna pop on her YouTube video, do my new face, throw my hair up. We'll get on to the next pampering of myself. Love this. I'm fully kitted out. This video. Using the new face conducting serum, I apply this in one section at a time. It dries really quickly and you need the serum to glide the device as well as penetrate the muscles in the face. So you need like a decent amount. I go over each section six times with the new face device. There's a beep that guides you. I like to start with the jawline and then work my way up. Once I've done the jaw and the cheekbones, I do some holds around my mouth and underneath my cheekbone to help basically lift that center section of my face. This is the section that I feel most insecure about. So I take my time and I hold each position for a minimum of three beeps. But if I have the time and I'm feeling generous, I will zap um, that section for a bit. Moving on to my forehead, I do each section upwards six times again. So an upward motion all across my forehead. I complete with holds in the center of my forehead and above my brows. I tend to hold the most tension in these sections of my face. So I like to work out any kinks. You know, I like scrunch my forehead a lot and it's just, it's nice to like work those muscles right there. I find like I feel less tense in my face. I end my routine on my neck. I'm starting underneath the jaw in an outward motion. Again, I do each section at least six times. My neck is sensitive, so I try to use a bit more of the serum to prevent redness or irritation because it's really noticeable on my neck, but this is by far the best device I've ever used. The results are instant and I feel more secure in my own skin. And I would say when I do each section six times, this takes me about 25 minutes. So it's definitely a time commitment um, and you do notice results the more often that you use it and most importantly, the more consistent you are with it. I don't know if you can see a difference. I just feel like my whole face is lifted and like plumper. Like look at these cheeks, look at these cheeks. But most importantly, I feel better. Like I just feel bright eyed and bushy tailed. actually kicked my ass was counting down the minutes even like the seconds until that was over but i'm about to hop in the shower and i wanted to just show you how i apply this mask i mentioned this in my last video and i've been using it ever since this is the r and co palm springs i'm very excited because mike and i are actually planning a trip to palm springs look at all the palm trees on it i'm very excited for palm springs i've never been this is just supposed to help 
your hair if it's like worn out from heat styling. I just think it helps to condition the ends and kind of like coat the ends of your hair so that when you use shampoo, the shampoo like runs over the ends of your hair because shampoo will dry your ends out and your hair is driest the further it is from your scalp. I'm gonna take a modest amount of this. Take like a decent amount. Whoa, I almost just dropped that. Took too much. It's like shaving cream and it smells really good. I'm just gonna put it on the ends of my hair, just like all throughout. Again, as I was saying, you don't need this. Conditioner will do the same thing. It will coat your hair so that when you wash out your shampoo, it kind of just runs through the strands of your hair and doesn't absorb in. Do you get what I'm saying? Like the conditioner kind of protects the ends of your hair. I wanna make sure I don't waste any product and then I'm gonna leave it in for 10 minutes. So Alexa, can you start a 10 minute timer please? Grazie. It's really important to wash your brush. So I do this once a week. This is my wet brush that I always brush my hair with. And I'm just taking a teasing brush. It has these like hair bristles and I kind of just remove as much dust and hair. See how it kind of like picks up the hair as I possibly can from my brush. Taking all the hair out, all the dust out. I'm gonna run warm water. All that water gets nice and warm. I'm gonna take like a dollop of shampoo. Okay, so now it's pretty warm. You don't need to do too much water. I just fill it to where I put the brush like this. You just wanna make sure that the bristles are in your soapy mixture. And I'm gonna shower, leave this in for the next probably like half an hour. You can also throw any other stuff that you use for your hair. I guess I should throw in my silicone brush. The silicone guy, again, it just needs to be the bristly part. If you buy this bamboo brush because I told you to buy it, for your hair oiling. You cannot soak wooden brushes. You will ruin them, so don't do that. You can also throw clips. So I've been wearing this clip all week in the sweaty heat wave. So I will put this clip in here as well. This is everything that's in there. I have my wet brush, my hair clip, and my silicone little scrubber guy. So I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna go about the rest of my showering and whatnot. I need another one of these. This is my mustache buzzer. I've had this for like, but I have to push it up. Normally it's just like on off, you see here. She's dying. I've had her for a very long time. I wanna say I've had this since before Mike and I met, but this is where I'm weird. And this is where I'm like, I feel guilty throwing this out, but I honestly really need a new one. Part of my um, little pamper routine once a week is I zip my mustache off because I'm Italian and I'm hairy. And if you like your mustache, then girlfriend, you keep your mustache. I come from an Italian mother who would point out excess hair on my body. I'm a little triggered by body hair, which is unfortunate because I have a lot of it. I really hope that my Foreo is charged. Also very hot and sweating. And I wish I could put my fan on, but you're, it's gonna be loud and you're gonna hear it. The level up of the fan is like unbelievable. <sighs> okay, I will turn her off. I've been using this. I'm a little nervous that she's dead though. Okay. I think she might be dead. But the problem is that I don't know where I put the charger. Let me find the charger, let me charge her, and then we can do my call it a night face mask. This has LED lights, it vibrates, it heats, it feels really nice. And I have like a period headache and this is honestly my favorite time to use it. In the meantime, I am going to go clean up pee downstairs because I need to clean up after the dog. Mike went to work today. I had the luxury of working from home, so I don't want him to have to come home and pick up piss. So don't think that this is a luxurious, glamorous life. I try to make it as much as I can, but it's not. Oh my God, these expire December 7th, 2024. I need to get on my Oreo usage a little bit more. Oh, there's two in here. So I have call it a night, which is the one that I wanna to do tonight. I have make my day, which is hydrating with hyaluronic acid in it. And I also have another one that I haven't opened. When does this one expire? <gasps> 1024. Okay, I really need to open this one. This is Youth Junkie. I haven't used this one, but it is Intensive Renewal Collagen Infused. But I wanted to use the call it a night. I really like it. It's very calming. All right, let me find the charger. We have a problem. I can't find my chargers. I'm gonna look for them. I can't find my UFO, nor can I find my other LED mask. 
charger and it's like annoying because you know most chargers can charge other things these are like two very distinct chargers after i got out of the shower it's very important body lotion i must i feel like a shedding snake so i applied the vaseline calm healing moisturizer all over my body i have been using my sol de janeiro boom boom cream but i didn't feel like using it tonight because i was lazy and that's all that i've done clearly i hair wrapped and now i'm just literally going to to run this stuff under warm water and rinse all the shampoo out of it. And then I just lay everything face down on a towel and I'm just gonna let this air dry. If you know me and my hair care journey, I don't brush my hair until it's like 90% dry. So I'm gonna leave it in my little hair turban. I'm going to search high and low for my chargers um, and then I will brush my hair later, but I don't know what else I'm gonna do tonight. I mean, I might just have to do my skincare without doing any kind of like facial wand, which is kind of upsetting because I really want it. Like I've literally looked everywhere that I keep extra chargers, the Foreo, and then this, the Solo Wave, which is just like an LED light. I was using this for a hot minute, but I'm gonna be honest, I have not been consistent enough with this to notice a difference. And I may not become consistent with it because I don't know where the hell I put the charger. Where is it? Like this is where I keep all of my miscellaneous chargers. How is it not in here? No, it's not in here. Can't find any of my chargers, so I'm just gonna move on. Let's move on with more hair things. I'm gonna use the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. It smells like watermelon. Bubblicious, that's what it smells like to me. This is a lot, I put too much on. You need not this much. I'm just gonna focus it on the ends. And honestly, I know I said you don't need the R & Co hair mask, but it makes my hair really soft. It feels less dry. I'm gonna use it and then I'm gonna go back to using conditioner because honestly, I did the conditioner trick for like a week and it felt pretty good. And then I found the pre-shampoo mask. I was like, let me just use this because I have it. You know, I'm trying to use things that I own rather than letting them sit in my skincare closet, my hair closet, my like bathroom closet, you know? Do you guys want like a tour of what's in there? I actually really wanna go through it. Would you be interested in watching me go through this closet with all my hair care, my skincare? I could do that in a vlog, or I could just do it in the privacy of my own home. If you're interested, let me know. I'm gonna put it back in this, just to like get it out of my face. I'm gonna do my retinol routine. This is normally the night that I like to do my retinol, the night that I wash my hair. A lot of my other skincare is oily and will migrate into my hair and then make it oily and I just washed it. So I do my most drying routine the nights that I wash my hair. I'm running really low. There's like almost nothing in here. Number seven, advanced retinol 1.5 complex. I think I'm ready to like up my skincare routine though. Know? Like I kind of want to go to a dermatologist. I want professional help, I think. I think I just kind of want to find a routine that I like and stick with it because that's the direction in which I've really moved with my skincare. Like I don't really stray away from the things that I love, i.e. how many years have I been talking about Kiehl's? Midnight Recovery Complex, although I'm not using that tonight. I'm gonna take another pump and I'm gonna do my neck. Like I know a decent amount about skincare, but I think I could be better with like the pairing certain ingredients with other ingredients. I'm not a dermatologist, so I should go talk to somebody who maybe has an idea. Like I watch a dermatologist here on YouTube and I really enjoy her content, Dr. Iris. She said not to put retinol around your mouth. At least I'm pretty sure that's what she said. I have been off of social media because of the sad loop that I'm in. I haven't been using retinol around my mouth because you guys know I have very sensitive skin around there. I'm gonna let that sink into my skin. And you know what, let's move on to just like brushing my hair because I kind of just want to go on the couch and watch Housewives. It's a 10. And just spray this on the ends of my hair. Now this is like a detangler slash a heat protectant, but I don't think I'm gonna do my hair tonight. I'm gonna let it just like air dry, I think, and then maybe I'll style it in the morning. Probably not though, because I have to go to work. And Lord knows I don't give myself enough time. But look, the brush is nice and washed. I'm just gonna brush my hair. 
And the reason why I wash my brushes, I don't think I was clear about that before, is because if you keep washing your hair with a dirty brush, it's gonna continue to make your hair dirty and oily. Like it's gonna make your hair oilier faster. And then on nights where I use my retinol, I like to use my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream because it's just like really lightweight and I find that if I put my Kiehl's, other Kiehl's, I'm a Kiehl's girly. Okay, we know this. If I use this over top of my retinol, the Midnight Recovery Omega Rich Cloud Cream, it's just, it feels like I'm ripping all the product off of my face, like it's peeling off. I really love this cream. I think it's very comparable to Tatcha Water Cream. So save yourself some money. I mean, Kiehl's is in drugstore prices, but it's not Tatcha prices. I need to like relax. I feel like I'm anxiously doing my skincare. I'm just thinking about what I have to do. I really need to edit my video, but I need to just really take a second because this is what I mean when I talk about self-care and skincare, like if you just gotta be present, we were just talking about those before. I feel like I kind of feel anxious, like the day kind of took its toll on me and I'm taking it out on myself and I don't wanna do that. Honestly, losing those chargers really sent me. I keep it pretty simple for eye cream. I've been using the Rodeals Dragon Blood Eye Gel. I feel calmer since I took that deep breath. And I just like this dispenser but I don't know if I love this eye cream yet. I don't wanna keep trying it. I've really just been loving castor oil on my eyelids. And honestly, my whole face, I really see the biggest difference when I use that. I just feel like it softens my skin over my brows and I honestly kind of use it to lift my brows up so I look more awake. More like I have Botox and my forehead isn't falling. Yo, I was looking at pictures of myself because again, I'm having Google Drive issues, but I finally spoke to someone in customer, in customer service, which Mike told me to do that over the weekend, but I was just being like stubborn. She helped me, she was really nice, so I like couldn't even be mad. And I feel like, you know, it is true, you get more with honey. So I was very nice to her, even though that kind of sent me again because Google Drives told me I had no space. I then purchased 100 gigabytes and then it automatically like turned on to backing up all of my photos. So now all the photos on my phone are now on my Google Drive. So this morning I went to go edit a Google Doc, couldn't edit it because I had no space again and was like, what the hell? I just paid for more space. So now I have to go through everything, delete things to make space again. Whatever, I'm done with this. I just feel like my hair feels very heavy. So I had to go and I was deleting pictures and videos and whatnot and I was so young and I look like a lot older and it was kind of like a lot like i feel like what has happened i hit 33 and i think like 33 is the year that i really took like it's like we're turning into our 30s like it's a sharp turn i just feel like slouchy and like i need to do yoga and i'm like sagging a little in here just because of my lines but honestly it's like not so much my lines as it is the redness that exaggerates my lines and creates a shadow and makes my lines look worse. We all age and this is me aging and telling you how I feel about it. I feel like there's a lot of shame in that too. I'm proud to be 33 and that's so weird to say. I don't care that I'm not in my 20s. I, but I still care when I look back and I see that I look different in the mirror. Like it's just like, you feel some type of way about it. I feel like you must. And this is how I feel about it. It's like a little like, whoa. I feel like I look the same as I did when I was 21, but, but then it's like the realization that you don't look like that anymore that's kind of like shook, like time has, she has passed and that's just a lot. I'm gonna go relax, I'm gonna rest and yeah, that was my super quick hair routine, nighttime skin routine. I just, I don't do the most and I find that my skin likes me more when I do less. So there you have it. It's me on the floor and yes, this is weird, <sighs> but I've had so much anxiety today that I don't know you ever just like melt to the floor and gravitate towards the floor anyway this is a terrible angle but I didn't find my charger for my solo wave or for my Foreo UFO 2 so I promise you not the next video because the next video is gonna be my weekend vlog of what Mike and I got into this weekend it was a really fun fun weekend I had a really nice weekend we went to the beach the weather wasn't the Sahara Desert loving it but that will be my next vlog and then the vlog after that so not Thursday but next Tuesday I will include my solo wave and UFO too because I don't know where the charger is honestly at this point I'm probably gonna have to buy new ones um but until then I'm gonna love you and leave you here thanks for joining me let me know if you like the pamper video because oh 
my lips could use some pampering. So dry. She's so dry and so gross, but whoa, my anxiety today was on a whole other level that I just need to go melt into my bed. But anywho, love you, leaving you. Um, if you enjoyed this chaotic video, yeah, leave a big thumbs up down below. Down below. Also, let me know if you like pamper videos. We could do like a monthly get pampered with me because I use a lot of different things, just depending on my mood when I'm self-caring because we all know I love self-care. It looks like it's gonna rain. I need to go. I'm gonna love you and leave you for the third time I'm gonna say it. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.